Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't guessed it, it's time to revisit perms, leg warmers, shoulder pads, and thick neon makeup. The theme of the 80s was definitely more is more. When the delicate glow of the 70s gone, pale and striking was now the ultimate choice of women of the 80s. No 80s look was complete without the perfect liner, thick brows, fake beauty spots, electric eyes, and fuchsia or orange lips. Blending brush? No way. Just suck those cheeks in and pile on the brush. The object of desire was an electric sculpted face. Think Cindy Lauper, David Bowie. So this was the first era that I can relate to because this was the first era that I was actually alive and when it happened I got to witness the 80s. So when I look back at the 80s I think Huge hair, um, side ponytails, mini skirts, parachute pants, uh, My Little Ponies, scrunchies, uh, banana clips in the hair, super curly perms, um, and you know, Whitney Houston's I Want to Dance with Somebody. That's what I think of when I think of the 80s. I was young, but I was there. Um, I had so much fun doing this look. This was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, it was just, uh, how often do you get to do this, really? Um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. And let's just get this 80s tutorial started. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Hello. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm going to, <clears throat> my face is already done. Um, my foundation, I used the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir in the color 705, which is ivory. Um, and I am going to use my Carity palette for this look. Um, this palette has some super, super amazing purples, shimmers, light purples. It has every shade of purple. It's just, it's just an amazing palette. So I figured um, with the bold purples, this would be... The palette to use um, for this look and um, for those of you out there who have never tried a Carity palette go to their website I think it's just www.carity.com I'll link it in the comments below and check out um, their their products uh, their palettes are amazing uh the quality of their colors is fantastic and they are super super affordable um yeah this is definitely one of my favorite brands of makeup and i just happened to stumble upon them one day so i was super lucky with that and um so that's it that's what i'm doing right now i'm just kind of putting down a base and i'm going to add some purples and I'm going to try to make them as bold and large as I can, you know, 80s style. So to give myself that classic 80s kind of winged shadow, you know, that triangle that they usually had in the, um, you know, in the corner there, the outer corner you know, from b below your brow bone, um, I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush just so that I can be a little bit more precise. Uh, this actually wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought that I could just take a blending brush and kind of blow it out that way and shape it as I went along. Um, but this is actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So um, <clears throat> this is going to take me a little bit of time. I'm probably going to cut some of this out as to not bore you with me doing the same thing over and over again. Um, but basically, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I'm doing. Okay. 
And with just a little bit of um, final blending, I just want to make sure that all of those colors are blended in together really nice, that there's no sharp edges, um, and I just want to make sure that I can clean up all my fallout, and I'm almost done here. So the next product I'm going to use is just a, um, a pencil eyeliner from Unique. Uh, it's just a black pencil eyeliner. I do have to say that I am not usually a huge fan of pencil eyeliners. However, this formula is so smooth and so buttery. Um, definitely not not trying to I don't sell unique or anything so I'm not trying to push it on anybody but I will and I'm not even a huge fan of their products to be honest with you I hate their foundation and their shadows are very lackluster to me um but this freaking eyeliner uh is just phenomenal and I have yet to find a high-end or drugstore brand that will even come close to the butteriness of this eyeliner So now I'm just going to take my MUA smudge brush, which is one of my favorite eye brushes. And I'm just going to fill in the bottom with some purple to match the top. And the last step for my eyes is to just go in with my Better Than Sex mascara and apply a thick coat to my upper and lower lids. And now uh, for my blush, I'm just going to take my e.l.f. palette and like they said, I'm going to suck my cheeks in and I am just going to run that blush from the hollows of my cheeks all the way up to my temples. And last but not least, just for a little pop of brightness on the cheeks, I'm going to go in with my Revolution highlighter and just add a tiny bit to the um, right above the balls of my cheek. So the final touch is my lipstick. And what I'm going to use is the MAC Lip Glass Lip Gloss in the color of love you big time it's a nice soft purple and that completes my 80s look i had so much fun doing this i hope you guys had fun watching it i hope to see you soon don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you'll see me soon bye love you